Uh, we've got a great looking 1970 Camaro Rally Sport. Is this thing beautiful? The wheels, the stance, the color, the black windows, body off frame restoration, lived in California its entire life. This uh, top invoice right here is for over $17,000 and it was done recently. We have the original build sheet. The car was sold new in California. I bought it in California, so it's lived out there its whole life. 383 stroker under the hood, four speed, and most of the 17 grand was all underneath. All ride tech, custom suspension, and Willwood disc brakes, and all sorts of good stuff under there. Go to volocars.com. You can take your time and look at over 100 photos, top to bottom. You can read all the information. And you'll find a price tag on every car that's for sale, along with a monthly finance option as well. That's if you visit volocars.com. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new videos are posted. And for right now, let's go for a spin. Yeah, this is a pretty hot looking car. This is the one a lot of guys are talking about. Again, the color, the stance, it's got it going on. It's just right. So the underbody is so clean. It's painted the same pewter silver. So it's all clean metal painted glossy like this. Every component was removed from the bottom of the car, including the subframe. Uh, it's all new. Uh, the tire front end is rebuilt. Uh, it has an upgraded sway bar. The rear suspension is ride tech, uh, and it's got a tubular uh, support system. It's something I've never even seen before, uh, but it's a little more elaborate than typical. All tubular control arms, QA1 coil over shocks. Uh, it has a new powder coated 20 gallon fuel tank uh, with all the proper electronic fuel pumps and that for the fuel injection that's under the hood. Uh, Flowmaster dual exhaust system. I think it dumps right after the rear end. Uh, sounds great. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. Uh, Willwood brake uh, kit discs at all four corners. They're drilled and slotted. Uh, the front, they're calling it the big brake kit. It has a, a six piston caliper. Uh, e brake assembly is all new. Marifest stainless steel cables. Uh, looking up at the motor, it's still like brand new. The freeze plugs are still shiny. The starter looks fresh. Uh, Four-speed transmission, it looks like a T10 four-speed. They said that was all just gone through. Uh, it's a Curry. No, it's a 10-bolt rear end with a 373 Posi gear unit in it. Uh, so, yeah, underneath, uh, all redone. Again, that $17,000 invoice was for mostly under the car. The brakes, the suspension, the gas tank. I think the fuel injection was part of that, but everything under the car is uh, new and upgraded. The body is excellent. This thing straight, fits nice, uh, so let's check it out. Pillar, the roof, straight. This can be a problem area, but not on this car. I don't see any cracking or issues. All nice, clean metal. Body lines are nice, no bubbles. All nice, lines up square. They had a tall spoiler and a short one in 70. Obviously, it's the short one. All looks good and straight, fits nice. No bubbles, no damage. All nice, clean, clean metal, lines up beautifully. This, this crease right here doesn't have any door dents in it. It's all nice, clean, straight. I don't see any rust, and everything looks like it fits really well. It has a sport mirror. Now the Rally Sport, for those that don't know, actually has the extended nose, which gives it uh, split bumpers, and they actually reconfigured the headlights. So very desirable uh, having the Rally Sport. It looks good. <coughs> Excuse me. 
the paint, it's kind of like a pewter more than a silver. I think it's a beautiful color. The metal flake is laid out evenly. There's no cloudy, no blotchy areas, no problem areas. I didn't see any cracking or shrinkage or issues. It is polished like glass. Even the stripes are smooth to the touch. Now, with that being said, there are some uh, chips, some fairly significant chips. Uh, we do have a paint system in our shop. We will touch it up. They probably should have done that already, but they didn't. But here's a decent chip right here in the paint. And on this uh, wheel well, there's a little scratch right here that they'll touch up. There's a couple on the other side too. But while it's going around, uh, all the glass was replaced. It has this nice dark tint on here. It looks really sharp. <clears throat> the rubber seal, door handles replaced. The stainless trim, front and back window is replaced. The bumper is real sharp. The Rally Sport also has this little bit of stainless trim around the tail lights, but everything back here is sparkling and beautiful. It has Boyd Coddington wheels. 17s in front, 18s in back. The backs are also extra wide. All four are wrapped in Nitto Extreme uh, tires, their performance tires. Uh, here's a chip in the paint down here uh, that will get touched up. And I'm looking for any other chips, but they'll go around the car and touch them up. Uh, and that's really the only problem with the paint. The paint is slick and, like I said, lined, uh, laid out beautifully. And then everything up front, the bumpers, even the grill surround, all of it, the emblem, all sparkling and beautiful. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's lowered. Seems like a sports car. Let's open it up. I got a lot more greatness to show you. All right, let's see what it looks like inside the trunk. Oh, already opened. Under the trunk lid, smooth, glossy paint like the rest of the car. Same thing with the jam, new weather strip. That's beautiful. Uh, you have a generic rubber mat in here, but it is a, is a solid metal trunk. Now there's some stereo equipment, a massive subwoofer, and then there's an amp on either side of it. You can see the six by nines uh, hanging down there too. Wheels are polished nicely. Actually, they're fairly new, the wheels. The jams are painted up real slick. Weather strips are replaced. A couple of the edges are a little tattered on the weather strips, but they've all been replaced. Door panels in real nice shape. All the plastic trim. It all looks good. The dash <clears throat> is real sharp looking. I sat in here, and this all just sparkles. It's all fresh, uh, upgraded. Uh, VHX analog digital gauges. Let me see if I can get them on. Yeah, don't they look good? Black and white gauges. Again, the lighter. Everything's new. And then the steering wheel, billet specialties wheel on a tilt column. So you're going to enjoy sitting in the car. What you see is beautiful. The dash pad is mint and it fits real nice. There's the digital sniper uh, fuel injection screen. Has a retro stereo with all the auxiliary plugins. We got kick panel speakers, and then of course <clears throat> the speakers I already pointed out. Nice carpet, nice embroidered mats. The center console looks new. Has this nice billet shifter. Then the seats, they're calling them leather. It could be leather. I noticed right away, this is not this, you know, out of the catalog type material. And I looked at my notes, they're calling it leather upholstery. It's a correct pattern, all new cushions, and it's either a real upgraded vinyl or it is leather. Headrests look new. The back seats are redone the same. All the plastic panels and trim is real nice. The headliner, tight as a drum. The visors are done to match. The original mirror is a little bit clouded. But yeah, very, very nice interior. Yeah, 
I personally, I like this one. I like the look of it. I like everything they did. 383 Stroker Motor, uh, putting out 375 horsepower. The aluminum intake, the Holley Sniper fuel injection I've been talking about, HEI ignition system. I like the match set of valve covers and air cleaner. Now look at the firewall. Look how it's all painted. You can tell it was all apart and redone. Not a spray can special. Heater hoses are hooked up. Inner fenders are nice. Alternator looks fresh. We got the shroud and the fan and pulleys and everything looks real good. It's got a new set of horns. We got power steering. And part of the recent work that was done, a Willwood brake system. There's red bushings in the front end. Those are upgraded polyurethane bushings. I think the body bushings are red also. Under the hood's painted real sharp. When you're the driver, it's kind of important what you're looking at looks good. I'll tell you what, it's a nice looking dash and steering wheel in this car. Even if the outside looks junky, which it doesn't. Now we've also recently added a $2 million shop facility. Every car goes through a thorough inspection. I try and buy the most finished, done cars I can, but they still get inspected. There's still uh, little things we can always do to make, make them better. Uh, this one we spent $1,200 on. Uh, we fixed one of the door locks weren't working. Uh, reverse lights weren't working. We replaced the horns. We replaced the blower motor. So we went through this car. It's service. It's ready to enjoy. Go to volocars.com. Uh, they'll answer your questions that you still may have. They'll help get it delivered. They'll help you finance it if you need that at volocars.com. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Subscribe and click on that bell icon so you can see the new ones as they're posted. Thanks for watching.